previously on Apprentice A. Somebody explain. They're great. It does have fox ears. Mm -hmm. Mini everythings. Coffee plant. Yeah. Welcome to the knitting club. Hello everybody and good morning. Welcome to the greatest day of my entire life. Look at this poster. Look at that guy. We are freaking pumped for the new Star Wars movie, Episode 7, The Force Awakens. This is the world premiere. I'm walking down Hollywood Boulevard right now. It's two o'clock. We're about to get we're about to go get some subway. And get, yeah, and get ready um, for like a pre-reception and then look at all these people. Everybody's been lining up all morning. I got a haircut. I was kind of rushing around getting ready. And uh, it's all Almost here. I'm freaking out. <gasps> What's going on, brother? How are hey. you? Hey. So good to see you. Welcome to Subway. Oh, I just had some delicious Subway uh, pizza. What's it called? It's the Subway Flatitza. Flatitza? Flatitza. Flatitza? Flatitza. What's your What's your ethnicity? Are you Are you Italian? I'm a Mexican man. I am from a Hispanic man. <laughs> and you're drinking out of John Boyega's hat. I am drinking. Yes, I am. <laughs> and he was you looking right in the camera as you did it. This boy here, have you ever met him? No. So I have went you? To, yes. But, oh. But it was a very long time ago. Mm, in a galaxy. In a galaxy far, far. Well, no, it was, it was L.A. But uh, <laughs> we are. I went to an Attack the Block. Screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, and it was like at the arc light or something. And then afterwards, the, ca the cast came out and said some things. Uh, and then John Boyega came off the stage and was like, talking to fans or talking to people nobody knew who he was and in fact I think that was his first movie yeah one of his first big and big pictures yeah I was just like dude you're awesome you're gonna like blow up man this was great and he's like thanks man he was just super nice right. super cool got a photo yeah don't know where it is uh when well, now there's one in your hand and you're drinking out of now his one in, now I'm drinking head. out of his head nice work you did it <laughs> you did it I said it I called it dude we we're doing apparently it's called the Oscar walk yes this is the Dolby Theater. Yes. Look, yes. the red carpet ends here. We don't have our lanyards yet. Coming to get them? But th this yeah. gentleman is going to hook us up. Right. Thank you, guys. Wow. Wow. Just a, wow. Yeah, where are you? Wow. Wow. Hey. Hey. Just high five and security guys. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Everybody has their own name. Yep. yep. That's me. You don't need to see his identification. <laughs> That's a Star Wars joke. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited. We did it. This is it right here. We did it. This is it. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going to go see the new Star Wars movie. We're going to see the new Star Wars That's what we're doing here. We're going. We're, there's a new Star Wars movie. And we're going to see it. There's a bunch of people looking at me right now. They're like, yeah, yeah, dude, we got it. We're seeing a new Star Wars movie. Wow. 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 We're inside. We're in the red carpet. She's bringing us that way. She's staff. We're going. Wow. Wow. We, we're here. We're on the, the red carpet for The Force Awakens. We're influencers. Look at this. You're so famous. You're walking the red carpet. Hello. Hi. Look. Look at this. We did it. We did it. Are you serious? Wow. This is like the most red carpety of the red carpet. Sandra made it happen. She brought us out here. We're gonna get her in trouble. No, you're gonna be fine. That's Daisy Ridley right there. That's George Lucas and J.J. Abrams right there. Fantastic. Good. You excited? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, a little bit. Did you see JJ uh, Abrams? Guys, that's John Williams. Guys, that's John Williams. Guys, that's John Williams right there. There he is. 
So Chelsea Hamill, who is Mark Hamill's daughter, totally recognized me with Steve as my proof, I and was it. like, "Hey, hey, here, can I you?" Photos. And he, I, and she, I was taking photos of her. I had her phone, and I was like, "Steve, take photos of me." And he's like, "Why?" But I have photos of me taking photos of Chelsea Hamill. Also, Rob Lowe is here. Steve, what are you doing up there? What do you think I'm doing up here? Taking photos of Carrie Fisher? She's right there. Can I shoot a walking video with you? Sure. Uh, do you play a character in the new movie? No. Do they just let fans on the red carpet now? And I am. You know where we are right now? Yes, we're right in front of the Chinese theater in a beautiful tent. So we're wish evaporators <laughs> and George Lucas himself. <laughs> Yeah, I just got a photo with George Lucas. Yes, you did. We took a walking selfie. You sure that's did. how you do it. And that's you don't you, you don't ask to stop them. You just say, hey, do you mind if I take a photo with you while we walk? And then they go, they're like stressed, and then they relax. They're like, okay, yeah, 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 that, yeah. that's dope. Yeah. That's what he said. George Lucas said he said that's dope. He did say that's dope. <laughs> he did not. Yeah. Uh, so this is Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. This is Hollywood Boulevard that we're standing. It's weird. Right we're now. like inside. It's very strange. We're inside Hollywood Boulevard. Yes, we're standing on the street. That's very, that's very odd. Okay, so I'm at the end of the red carpet. The premiere screening is actually happening in a bunch of different venues. So here's the El Capitan, and then there's the Dolby Theater, which we were walking in earlier, and there's the Groman's Chinese Theater. That way, uh, just a ton of people can all see the movie at the same time. So our screening, we happen to be seeing it in the Dolby Theater. And Brian Greaser just walked right by me, which is pretty cool. He's a very big Hollywood producer. He worked on Arrested Development. Uh, and then suddenly, suddenly real life hits, and it's Los Angeles again. But <laughs> we keep going, and we're back in. This is our second time doing the Oscar walk. This time under different circumstances. Hello. Hello. Hey. Oh, <laughs> oh, look how she's dressed. Steve, somebody knows you. Guys. Hello, pretty dope. That was nice. Pretty dope. As good as it gets. Yeah, yeah. This it, is as good as it gets. doesn't get any better than this. This is what I've wanted my whole life. This, this, this is. Just to live this kind of fun life of being around these creative, amazing people and mingling with these legends, living legends. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the uh, like the eight-year-old Corey that saw Star Wars on VHS for the first time. I'm thinking about my warm bed. And my parents who introduced me to Star Wars when I was a kid. Thank you, Mom and Dad. For... I probably would have found Star Wars anyways, but thank you for introducing <laughs> me to it. Uh, thank you guys so much. I mean, we really were here because you uh, interacted on, on social media. You're, you guys retweeted me and um, liked and commented and it changed my life. And now I get to be here because of the internet. And ten years ago, that wasn't a thing. Hey, it's Steve Sansweet. How you doing, man? How's it going? We catch up eventually. Oh, as always. Did you bring any cool toys? Is there anything laid out? Anything no, on the red carpet because of you? We had a lot of cool toys down at the uh, Target. At Target yesterday. yesterday. How was that? It was wonderful. It got rained out so early yesterday, but we get to take it away. All right. Thank you. Go along. Steve Sansweet has the. Steve Sansweet? Yeah. Uh, we've met a bunch of times. He has the largest Star Wars collection in the world. Rancho Obi Wan. That's right. Yeah. He's awesome. Anyways, as I was saying previously, with tears in my eyes, but then Steve Sansweet made me happy. Um, I mean, I was happy. There was they were happy tears, but Steve Sansweet wiped metaphorically and emotionally wiped my tears away. Um, I'm here because of you guys. I'm also here because of Subway. So thank you so, 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 so much to Subway. Or there are actually some of the people here right now who probably hear me saying Subway, Subway in the background. Um, but we, we are only here because of that. Uh, so thank you so much to them, to, uh, oh, it's Gonzetta, hi. I just saw Steve. She works with Steve. You excited? I'm excited. Uh, yeah, it's, sorry, it's just a lot, but you guys are incredible. Uh, and this means 
the entire world to me, so. Cool. Thank you very, 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 very much. Okay guys, I just found out that they're taking away uh, all of our phones and cameras, so I need to hand over the vlog uh, and my cell phone, and I can't bring it in with me, so I will connect with you after I see uh, The Force Awakens. So, uh, I'll see you in a couple hours. Yeah, all right. Uh, uh, good, uh, it's, uh, oh, it, it, but in the, in the edit, it'll just be in a second from now. So good, oh, they need it, yep, yep, and we're good, bye. I just, I, I just saw the movie, it, it was incredible, uh, and I didn't cry, and then I met J.J. Abrams, and he said he's, he's right over, he's right over there, I, ju I just met him, and he said he has seen my YouTube videos before, and he really likes them. Which is really cool, because he's like, J.J.'s like a real Star Wars fan, he's like, super duper duper hardcore and he's right behind me and he like he actually talked to me he like looked me in the eye and as like a fellow fan we like he, he gave me more than a second when every single person wants to talk to him um, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not gonna bug him yeah, I already talked to him once he's, he's seen he's seen uh, my Star Wars videos which is just and the movie's in, incredible I'm not going to talk about it other than to say it's incredible. It's everything I wanted it to be. It's everything I wanted it to be. Wow. Well, I gotta find. I gotta find my group. But uh... oh yeah, Toby's here. <laughs> what do you think of the movie? That. Uh, yeah, it's a really wonderful movie. And so we're eating a bunch of dessert. Steve Sansweet is just in it every time I walk by. Nothing, eh? I love you. He said, hey. Steve Did I say, hey? Hey, he said, hey. More like Steve's so sweet. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, hello. Hi. So Steve got work. Oh, hello. Hi. She touched my bum. He's Canadian. Don't let him touch me. I am so sorry. You're very pretty. Um, uh, Steve's going to sleep. Toby never sleeps. Uh, and I'm in a different time zone. I need some sleep. And then I gotta fly home. Which is where the car is gonna be. You're gonna in and out? Really? Yes. I'm gonna call my best friend, who is my assistant. And she'll pick me up. I'm gonna go to a hotel room alone and think about Star Wars a bunch and then fall asleep. Uh, this was like the greatest event of my life uh, that I didn't throw. <laughs> uh, and I love you guys. And uh, hello. Uh, and thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thanks. We had a time. Thanks, Subway. And now I'm just walking off alone by myself. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you all. Have a great life. Have a great Star Wars. Where the fog is